Hello and welcome back to the lesson. Uh, today we are still on the third bullet of the chapter, the financing decision, which is sources of finances for enterprises. During our last lesson, we made a distinction between internally generated funds and externally generated funds. Today we begin on another segment under the same subtopic. If you have a syllabus, you can see right after the externally generated funds, there is long-term sources and there's an open bracket, equity, debt, hybrids, lease finance, venture capital, business angel, private equity, asset securitization and sale, Islamic finance, and initial coin offerings. Those are long-term sources of, fin of finance which you are required to study then there is another category, medium-term sources, such as medium-term loans and higher purchase financing. Then there is short-term sources of finance, such as overdraft finance, trade credit, issue of commercial papers, accruals, deferred income. So those are the short-term sources of finance that you are required to study. So we will be going through each and every source of funds, finance that has been highlighted in the syllabus. And in looking or studying these sources of finances, we will consider the pros and cons of the various sources of finance, as well as the characteristics of each source of finance have highlighted the three categories, the long-term sources of funds, the medium-term sources of funds, and the short-term sources of funds. Today we begin with the long-term sources of funds. The first category is equity. In this lesson, we will study the characteristics of equity. We will study or highlight the pros and the cons of equity. Now, equity candidates represents a long-term source of funds for companies providing capital contributed by the owners or its shareholders. So, equity is the capital that is provided by the owners of a company. Equity. So, what are the characteristics of equity? characteristics or features or attributes. We have said equity represents the capital that is contributed by the owners or the shareholders. The first characteristic is ownership stake. ownership stake. Equity represents ownership in the company. It does what? It represents ownership in the company. You understand? And shareholders are the owners. And their level of ownership is proportionate to the number of shares that they hold in the company. So if a company has 100 shares, has issued 100 shares, and one individual has bought 50 of those shares, then such an individual has a 50% stake in the company. If an individual has just bought one share out of the 100, then such an individual has 1% stake in a company. So equity represents ownership in a company. Number two, equity has no obligation, obligation for repayment. There is no obligation for repayment. Unlike debt, where there is obligation to pay back the debt, 
Equity does not involve a fixed obligation for repayment of principal or interest. Shareholders only participate in the company's success through capital appreciation and dividends. If you are a shareholder of a company, then you simply enjoy the dividends and uh, capital or share appreciation. We can discuss the third characteristic under risk and return. Risk vis-a-vis -vis return. Shareholders bear the risk of the company's performance. They share the risk of the company's performance, but they also have the potential for higher returns, especially if the company grows and the stock price increases. Four, voting rights. Voting what? Voting rights. Equity shareholders typically have the voting rights in major company decisions, which allows them to um, influence corporate governance matters which also helps them influence board elections. Shareholders have voting rights. Shareholders have voting rights. Five, another characteristic can be discussed under the point dividends. Companies may distribute a portion of their profits to shareholders in form of uh, dividends. However, the payment of dividends is at the discretion of the company's management. If the company's management feels that, uh, uh, that it is not appropriate to pay dividends, then the shareholders may not enjoy any dividends during that particular year. Six, perpetual existence. This is yet another feature of equity feature of equity. Equity represents a form of permanent capital contributing to the company's perpetual existence. When one buys the shares of a company, then that money, that capital that is uh, contributed to the company has perpetual existence. It is that perpetual existence of uh, equity that gives the company permanent existence. Unlike debt, which has a maturity debt, but equity does not have an expiry debt. Does not have an expiry debt. Perpetual existence. So these are six characteristics of equity. Let's discuss the pros pros of equity. The advantages. The first obvious advantage is that equity has no repayment obligations. One, no repayment obligations. the company is not obligated to repay equity. Equity does not involve a fixed obligation for repayment. And that provides financial flexibility, especially during challenging economic conditions. Shared risks. The company's risks are shared. Shareholders share the business risks with the company. They only stand to lose the amount invested in the shares and are not personally liable for the company's debt. So we know a company is a person, is an artificial person. Shareholders may be artificial persons or, 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 or natural persons. So 
the risks, the business risks of a company is shared by the shareholders and the person of the company. Shared risks. Three, equity attracts long-term investors. Attracts long-term investors. Equity attracts long-term investors. The issues of equity can attract long-term investors who are interested in the company's growth potential, and that can contribute to stable and patient capital. Four, enhanced enhanced borrowing capacity enhanced borrowing capacity a strong equity base can enhance a company's borrowing capacity by improving its overall financial health and credit worthiness a company that has a strong equity base can borrow much more than a company that has a weaker equity base. Another advantage is that equity aligns interests, aligns interests. What are these interests that are aligned by equity? Now, equity aligns the interests of shareholders and management. And shareholders benefit when the company performs well, fostering a sense of shared goals. Equity aligns the interest of the shareholders and the interests of the management. These are five pros of equity. We'll move to discuss the cons. The drawbacks, the cons of cons of equity. The first obvious drawback is dilution of ownership. Equity dilutes ownership. Dilution of ownership dilution of ownership issuing additional shares to raise equity can lead to dilution of existing shareholders ownership and this dilution may affect the control and decision making power of the existing shareholders when you bring in new shareholders then the existing control of the shareholders is diluted because that or that control is then shared among the existing shareholders and the new shareholders there is a dividend expectation dividend expectations Shareholders may expect dividends, particularly if the company is profitable, and failure to meet dividend expectations can lead to, the, uh, to, can lead to dissatisfaction among the shareholders. As much as uh, equity shareholders are not guaranteed to dividends, we say that dividends are paid at the behest of the company's money. The company's money may decide when, if dividends will be paid or not, but the, on the part of the shareholders, by investing in a company, the shareholders expect that dividends will be paid, especially or particularly where the company is profitable. But if the company fails to pay dividends, which is uh, possible or expected, then that can lead to dissatisfaction and that becomes a drawback of equity. Now, candidate, the value of equity is influenced by market uh, fluctuations, is influenced by economic factors may be influenced by 
um, the sentiments of the investors. So equity is subject, the value of equity is subject to market fluctuations, to market conditions which are not stable. That would mean that the value of a share can fluctuate over time depending on conditions that are beyond the control of the company. Subject to the value of equity is subject to market uh, fluctuations or determined by market conditions. It's determined by the sentiments of the shareholders. Complaints, complex valuation. Valuation of equity can be complex. Valuing equity can be complex, especially for publicly traded companies. Why? Because share prices are influenced by various factors, including financial metrics, industry trends, market sentiments, and so on. Five, limited tax, limited tax benefits. Unlike debt candidates, interest payments on equity, interest payments um, on equity are not tax deductible. They are not what? Tax deductible. And that can make equity financing less tax efficient compared to debt financing, compared to uh, debt financing, limited tax benefits. So these are five cons of equity. We discussed five pros of equity. We discussed six characteristics of equity. And in summary, candidates, in summary, we can say that equity serves as a long-term source of finance with unique characteristics, with unique advantages and disadvantages. And companies must carefully consider their financial needs, their growth objectives, and also preferences of existing shareholders when deciding to raise funds through equity. And there ought to be a balanced uh, capital structure that involves a mix of equity and debt in order to maximize the benefits of both sources of financing. So these are characteristics, six characteristics, ownership stake, there is no obligation for repayment, there is a characteristic in relation to risk and return, voting rights, dividends and perpetual existence. We say that equity financing makes it possible for a company to have perpetual existence because the equity is not expected to be repaid. Pros of equity, advantages of equity, there is no repayment obligation. The company is not obligated to repay, it, as is the case for debt equity. There is shared risks between the company and the shareholders. It attracts long-term investors, equity attracts long-term investors, which is very essential for stability of the company. Thank you.